there are four types of Elvis fans. Hi, y'all. No, oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. My daddy was Elvis. He spoke to me in a dream. He told me. He told me to come here. No way. Well, hey there. I think you know who I am. I'm here to see about the head. Wait a second. You got a drink? help you son. I'm here to talk about your tape. I'm what you might call uh, something of an expert. The fourth type of Elvis fan? Michael! How you been? It's good to see you! You look good! Really good! Thanks, you... look about the same. <laughs> Why fix what isn't broken? <laughs> so you hanging in there? Yeah, I, I'm good. I'm feeling good. That's great, man. I've been thinking about you a lot. The last time I saw you... Wayne! I'm good, really. Oh! I still have your order! I had it stashed back here the whole time. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So how long are you gonna hang around? I'm just kind of passing through. Where to? The Michael I knew wouldn't have believed this crap. He still doesn't. Except this isn't crap. This Belasco guy, he was working trash duty down in LA, found the tape. He's been holding on to it for years. Come on. No, no, look, look, the dates line up. June, 69, Elvis was in LA rehearsing before he went to Vegas. They've been looking for tapes like this for years. All right, so uh, let's say this is real. You gonna bootleg it or what? I mean, it's gotta be worth something, right? Clue me in. Hello, can I help you? Uh, I need to borrow your phone. My cell is completely useless here. I've got to find a mechanic because my car keeps making this whistling sound. I don't blame it. Thanks. Are there any other shops in town? Just the one. Great. Can I make another call? You can make as many as you like. Thanks. Fantastic! Bad news makes good news. What you got? No, I 
My car broke down. I don't know if I'm going to make it up to Rapid City. You're probably going to have to have somebody else do the article. AJ, I can't send anybody else. This is your assignment. And besides, you're already halfway there. Yeah, but if I can't make it the rest of the way... Well, then hoof it! No more excuses. No illnesses, no broken down cars, no friend pets eating your flash drive... Listen, can't you get Missy to give me something with some real meat to it? I mean, I want to write something that people actually care about. This Elvis thing is... I mean, do people actually care about Elvis anymore? AJ, people are stupid. There are only three things in this world that people are sure to like. One, shiny objects. Number two, celebrities they can reject themselves onto. Number three, music. Elvis fits all three. Sometimes you gotta suck it up and write the thing that drives page views. I don't know what it is with this Elvis thing that you keep giving me so much flack over. Missy could hire any college student with an English major and a pretty face. But she, I mean I, keep you around because you're good. If you don't want to write a fluff piece, then don't. If there's anybody who can figure out another angle on this story, it's you. In fact, that's my challenge for you. I don't want to hear your voice again until that story is in my inbox, written your way. Got it? But Dan, I- Uh-uh, uh, don't want to hear your voice. Good luck. <sighs> One of these days I'm going to change to cordless. Is everything okay, ma'am? Yeah, I guess so. You know, I know a little bit about cars and uh, I have some tools out of my truck. If you'd like, I'd be willing to take a look at it. Can't promise anything, but... Sure! What have I got to lose? It's the um, blue one out front. Look, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but did I hear something about Elvis? Yeah, I'm a reporter for West River Lifestyle. I'm supposed to follow up on this Elvis recording somebody found. You should go talk to my friend Michael. What? Is he an Elvis fan? Lady, Michael is a walking Elvis encyclopedia. Um, Michael? Hi, I'm AJ Watson with West River Lifestyle Magazine. I'm doing an article on this new Elvis recording that was found, and I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Your friend told me you were a pretty big Elvis fan. You got me. <laughs> so, have you heard about this new recording, and do you think it's real? Oh, it's real. It's just a matter of whether or not Elvis is actually on it. Do you think he is actually on it? I haven't heard it. No other way to be sure. You're pretty young for an Elvis enthusiast. How did you become a fan, and do you think Elvis's music is still relevant today? Am I? I guess I just always figured that good music is good music. Doesn't matter when it was made. Do you think it's suspicious that Larry Belasco was recently diagnosed with cancer and is only now coming forward with this tape? Look, um, Miss Watson, mm -hmm. I think it's great that you writing this story, and I really appreciate the opportunity to comment. I just don't think I'm the right person you should be interviewing. But why not? Well, at any time in your story, were you planning on using the phrase, Elvis fans are all shook up over new long lost recording? Uh, I, um... There's more to the man than just the image, you know? If you want to write something truly meaningful, don't you think you should try looking beyond what's on the surface? I think you need these more than I do. Where are you going? Rapid City. Wish me luck, man. Drive safe. We'll do. Good news. I fixed the vacuum line. 
but you're going to want to get that looked at ASAP. Thanks. Um, what do I owe you? Ah, it's nothing. Mike will give you some homework. Something like that. I flew in as soon as I heard. I am offering you everything you need and more. It's not about the money, Mr. Greenwood. I don't believe this. All I'm asking for is the chance to know that my investment is worth it. It will be. You have to trust me. Trust you? I'm here! Can you say that about the estate? Or the record company? What do you think they'll offer you for? Peanuts. That's if they believe you at all, which, by the way, isn't very likely if they can't even listen to it first. I'm sorry, Larry, but if you want me to trust you, you have to trust me. There is no market for this. Every three or four years, someone like you comes out with something they think is special. That just because it's Elvis, it's worth something. But it's, it's not, not about, about the, the money. money. You keep saying that. It's not like it was in the 80s. Once they release this tape, it goes online and everybody has it for free. Then that tape is worthless. Mr. Belasco, that tape should go to someone who will protect it. Keep it safe. Value it for what it is. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Uh, this is gonna suck. All right, have your laugh. <laughs> Who's laughing? You know, you're the first person to come down this road in 20 minutes. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, your idiot friend seal busted and my whole motor blew. I, I was lucky to get it off to the side of the road. Hmm. No kidding. You all right? Yeah, I'm just a little rattled. You mean you're all shook up? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, is there anything I can do? Well, my car's not going to get fixed any faster if I just sit here, is it? And... Road buddies? Magic word. There you go. Real chummy place you got here. I don't know. Seems to have a whole world charm to it. Charm. Yeah. That's what we'll call it. Well, have a good night. Hey, Michael. Thank you. Oh! Come on! Come on! Oh! oh.
Come on! Nancy, I told you I was working late. Dan? AJ, uh, I, I told you I didn't want to hear your voice until the story was done. But... So is it done? Yes or no? But... Uh, Dan, my... Uh, 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 so that's a no then. Goodbye, AJ. Try to get out of an assignment on my watch? Not gonna happen. <laughs> Come on! Oh, Couldn't sleep? Couldn't write. Do you have a way to play these? You okay? AJ? If you were all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just... It's late. Michael? Have you ever been to Graceland? What? Have you ever been to Graceland? I really don't see how that's relevant. So that's a no. No. I have never been to Graceland. I've never been to Memphis either. You know, despite what this probably looks like to you, I'm really not into the whole pilgrimage thing. So... Who's Roy Hamilton? Roy Hamilton? Roy Hamilton was a singer. He inspired Elvis. You know, it's funny. Elvis covered half of this album throughout his career. He's probably one of the most biggest influences in rock and roll history. And barely anyone knows his name. He's a footnote in somebody else's life story. What do you want to be remembered for, Mr. Greenwood? Excuse me? I'm just curious. At this point in a man's life, he starts to reflect on what he's gonna be remembered for. What he's done for the world, for people. People still remember Elvis. They travel from all over the world to see his home, visit his grave, to mourn him decades later. They even come to a stranger's house just for a little bit of music. Makes me wonder what I'll be remembered for. Since you like this man's music so much, Mr. Greenwood, would you sing a little with me? Stupid 
thing. Oh no. What? Brian Greenwood. He's a collector, big in the Elvis world. What a waste. What are you looking at? Um, I'm AJ Watson, West River Lifestyle Magazine. I'm trying to interview Larry Velasco about the Elvis recording. Yeah, well, I hope you didn't come far. You have better luck finding Elvis himself alive on the moon. I'm sorry? What I'm saying is that old man over there? Just another guy looking for his 15 minutes of fame. He doesn't have anything. I told you, Mr. Greenwood, over and over. But you didn't listen. You're damn right I didn't. Uh, Mr. Greenwood, um, I would love to interview you for the piece. Even if this is a hoax, it would be great to have an expert's opinion. Sure, whatever. Good riddance. Who are you two? AJ Watson, West River Lifestyle Magazine. This is Michael. I was hoping I could get an interview about the Elvis recording. No comment. Michael. Mr. Belasco? Mr. Belasco, my name is Michael. I've come a very long way. And AJ, it's really nice, but I'm not with her. I'm not with the magazine. I'm, I'm not anyone special. I'm, I'm just a fan. And I know you've probably had dozens of crazy fans come here and, and guys like, like Brian. And I don't, I don't blame you for not wanting to talk to me right now. It's just, I just gotta know. You see, there was, there was this girl, Jessica. And I thought we were so in love. She didn't like my friends and didn't care for my family. She hated Elvis. She drove everyone away until it was just me and her. And then one day she was gone too. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had your heart broken so badly that, that you thought that no matter what was next, it had to at least be better than what you left behind? I had music playing. I don't know, I guess... I guess I wanted to go out having a good time. Whatever. And the song came on. You'll never walk alone. And suddenly, everything, it just, it just clicked. And I thought, it didn't matter that everything was going to be okay. It, it didn't matter how, how bad everything got or how low I sunk. I, was, I wasn't going to be alone. And I, I know I sound just like all those crazy fans that everyone makes fun of. But that's just it. It wasn't Elvis. Music saves people, changes people, changes the world. And yes, I am an Elvis fan, and I, I'm not ashamed of that. And maybe at one time I thought, if there was just one more song, it would help people remember that it wasn't about the flashy jumpsuits or the, the big house or, or the neon lights or, or the money. But I guess, I know, that time is gone. Maybe the world is done with Elvis. The music still means something to me. That's, it's gotta count for something, right? 
That's why. I... That's why I need to know. How do you want to be remembered? A flawed but loving parent who did the best they could? Someone with all the money and fame in the world? A good friend who's there for you when you need them? A talented person with a lot to offer the world. Rosebud! If there was one question that Larry Belasco's story raised, it was that. Elvis was a lot of things. So why do we remember him like this? Why don't we remember Roy Hamilton at all? Music saves people. It excites people and comforts people. It speaks to us in different ways and reminds us that none of us ever walk alone. Ha, 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 ha. 